Hey guys, hope it's me, Legoli329 here. We have another LEGO Star Wars 2013 review, and this is set number 75012, the Bark Speeder with Sidecar. It costs about 25 US dollars. It's a Walmart exclusive. It has 226 pieces. It's ages 7 through 12. Here's a front look at your box. There is the back of your box. This set includes one instruction manual with 62 pages of building. First off, the minifigures here is a figure you get two of in this set, and that is the Commando Battle Droids. Same one we saw in the Battle Packs last year, so nothing really special. There it is from the back. Next figure here is finally an updated Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. He looks pretty awesome. I'm still not a big fan of his face, but it is different this time. He has some great leg printing, some great front torso printing, and a blue lightsaber right there. There he is from the back, and he does have a double-sided face. Last, but oh certainly not least, is Captain Rex in his Phase 2 armor, and he looks really fantastic. There's been a lot of backlash among hardcore fans saying like, oh, he's not, he's not detailed enough or whatever. Well, who cares? This is a fantastic looking figure any way possible. He looks really awesome holding the guns right there, and I don't know if you can tell, but that pauldron on the side there is a really fantastic piece. He looks really awesome. There's a better look at his face. His face is different. It has a little bit of a 5 o'clock shadow. And there he is from the back. The first piece included with the set here is the small speeder for the droids. This is the same speeder that Count Dooku will be using in his upcoming set, the, you know, the Battle on Geonosis set coming this year, but it's in brown. This one's a little bit blue. It's pretty cool. I like the use of the cars piece right there. Lots of stickers. Just a ton of stickers for such a small little speeder. It's a decent design. I love the little piece right there. Battle droids really sit very awkwardly on there. I'm not a big fan of that, but it's a pretty decent looking speeder. Now, of course, the main part to this set is the bark speeder with sidecar. And this is a pretty cool design. I really like this bark speeder. Um, it's really, really long, which is very nice. And I like all the little sticker details. Very cool details, little gun harpoons there, which is really cool. And there's a nice little space you can fit Obi-Wan or Captain Rex. Then the sidecar itself is a decent little design. You can see with some flick fire missiles on the side there. And basically the main feature is that you can move this like so. So you can have, you know, the sidecar be shooting from the behind while the bark speeder is still flying forward. It's a little bit of a cheesy design, you know, a sidecar in Star Wars, but it's still a pretty cool looking speeder. All right, guys, so final version on this set. For $25, it's a very good value. You get some really cool minifigures. It's not my favorite set in the world, though. I mean, the, the, the stuff you get with it's pretty cool. It's nice for army building, but, you know, the Republic figures are not gen generic. They are, you know, they're specific characters, so that kind of sucks. I kind of wish you just got some normal clones or something, but this is still a pretty cool-looking set. I didn't give it a 7.6 out of 10. I hope to see you guys next time. Please like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.